There once was a man born of a royal lineage. Though royal by birth, his life was without glory nor prestige. A boy left alone in the world, fighting and bleeding for survival. The bravest sword on the cruel battlefields, this crimson-haired warrior. the weight of his lineage to fulfill his bloodline's obligation he who fights against his destiny through the power within him motivated by the past driven by bloody memories I've been looking all over for you. Where were you? You're late. You must hurry to the training ground. Uh-oh. So Buford looks a bit upset. We should hurry before he becomes even angry. You're late yet again. I thought I once told you that time is as precious as gold. I have no choice but to report to the Duke if your tardiness continues. Since you are late, we'll begin training immediately. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Today, we will proceed with combat training. You'll learn how to use the sword against that scarecrow. Go and swing your blade. Form. I can tell you put much work into it. There's more to wielding a sword than just swinging it. A lot more to it, in fact. Never forget that all knights make their oath with that sword. You decide your fate upon the blade and bear the weight of your pledge. Now, sheath your sword and come to me. You are the direct descendant of the great hero, King Depardieu's eldest son, Archduke Lowen. You are in the line of succession to inherit House Decker, as well as the throne. That is why you must keep training. The status of a monarch isn't... Do you understand? Now. Ah! What? Ah! Ah! Young master, wait here. One of you, guard the young master. Everyone else, to battle positions. <laughs> what is this? There's Degrin's young master! Get him! <laughs> young master, run! Join 
the fight. Go now. No, Sir Buford. It's fine. He's safe, and that... You must get away from here. This place is dangerous, but... Sir Buford, that isn't possible. Don't you understand? This must all be part of that tyrant's plan. Deckard Six is obsessed with the throne. He's imprisoning or killing all those with the right to... This won't end unless I die. I do not... But this child, my innocent son... Sir Buford, I beg you, please protect my son. But, my lord... Please, Sir Buford, protect... I understand. By my own blood, I swear... My child, I love you. You must survive. Time is running out. You must leave, Sir Buford. <sighs> Go now, and keep close to Sir Buford. Taking a hidden passage. Just a little. I will make a path. Follow me. Today, I'm finally going to taste the blood of the Red Wolf. Come, come! You won't get past me! The world was a merciless place for a boy left kinless, thus defenseless. Pursued by foes, days of fear ensued. And hunger followed him like a shadow. All he had for enduring the brutal winter was his warm breath on frozen hands. Amid such agony, however, was the loyalty and love of the Elder Knight, Buford. With Buford's devotion and care, the boy grew into a man who forged his own destiny. 
with a sword. Now, let adversity cross his path again, for he shall conquer them all. you unscathed. I was pleased to hear that you did well at the Red Knight's bugbear raid, but you know I would never have approved of this excursion. I can see that these fetters are frustrating you. Come to think of it, it's already been a decade since we hid away on this remote island to escape our pursuers. Very well then, if you can manage to become an official knight, I'll be able to rest at ease, even if I give you free reign. Go visit Sir Valton. He can explain the appointment ceremony. We Red Knights have protected the Talking Isle for generations as proud royal knights. We have always upheld this duty, even if it would have been an honor to appoint you as one of us. Unfortunately, to post recently, the number of missing has grown at an alarming rate. So, for now, I'd like you to join us on another Elisa. I will leave you in charge of this mission. I'm Alyssa. Let's cut to the chase, as we don't have much time. Well, let's stock up on what we need first. This is a green po- Running out of green potions is a major inconvenience. Don't forget to buy them in advance from the general merchant. Come to think of it, I've heard your name before. You're famous for your audacious red hair. Just as you can't hide the sky with your hand alone, the same can be said about the truth. You should check your staff sometime. Grandpa, stop saying weird things like that. Have you seen the missing knights by any chance? Hmm. Perhaps the island's whispers. Though many people disappeared 130 years ago, too. Half of everyone alive on the Talking Isle disappeared. Do you know why? It was because of the high demon Capricus's... We should just go. When Grandpa Alfred starts with one of his stories, he never stops talking. You know teleport magic, right? We should teleport to the North Island since it's far away. Huh? 
Something's not right. I'm sure the North Island was never this dark. What on earth? There aren't supposed to be any undead on the North Island. Save me. Oh, it's the magician. I'm saved. Not so fast. Aren't you from the Red Knight Supply Division? What is going on? Well, well, um, the dungeon door opened, and then they kept rambling about. Just get to the point already. Wait, why are all these silver weapons here? Did the other knights head into the dungeon without their weapons? What were you doing? Oh, what does it matter? There's nothing I could have done anyway. I'm not. What's the point of anything if I die? There's nothing wrong with trying to survive. Ugh, not only are you untrustworthy, if anything has happened to the knights, you... Here, use this instead. It'll be much more effective. Follow me. I know the way to the dungeon. My god, this blood and these corpses. It's the missing villagers. Wait, I see footprints. Let's follow them. There was some truth in Boris's words. The dungeon door is already open. I've been here before when I took the Red Knight's entry test. I'll take the... This is the place Grandpa Alfred told us about. We'd better be careful. Please come over here for a minute. Take this magic doll. Don't let anyone know that I gave you one. Broken magic dolls are supposed to be returned to the magician's lab. But, well, let's just say I want... I wasn't planning on giving you this. But since the Red Knight saved... Magic dolls have many functions. Hmm, let's check how many of them still work. Thankfully, the hunt support function is still working. It's what matters most. This is cursed residue, occasionally left behind for monsters. You can get a deeper understanding of their true nature by studying their residue. The supply function is working too. Great. These two. I hope we can fix it later. Now, let's head downwards. This seems to be a very old book. Let's take a look. 